When you're in prison and you're part of the LGBT community, especially a trans woman, an African-American trans woman, you have so many strikes against you. First of all, once you enter the prison system as an African-American, that's one strike. Because predominantly, the majority of the employees of the DSC system is white. Being transgender is a big strike because you stick out more. I was walking from the chow hall one day and there was a guy in between two buildings and it was very dark. So I'm looking while he's like signaling for me to come here, but I'm like inching closer. And I see there was at least like five or six people squatted down in the darkness behind him. And he grabs the back of my shirt and I just like slid my arms out and ran back to the housing unit that I was on. The guard asked me, well, what's wrong? And I told him, I was like, I think I was either about to be raped or I was about to be assaulted. And they put me in a hole, solitary confinement for my own protection, so they say. The superintendent of the whole Department of Corrections was walking through. I told them my name, I said Shantae, and he was like, that sounded like a girl's name. And I was like, because I'm a woman. His words were, I respect that. You stand on your ground, you won't let nobody dictate how you're treated or who you are. He had his assistant um, there, and he was just like, I want this inmate in a van right now transferred to a prison and placed in general population and they got me out of there. I really didn't think I was going to make it out of that hole. I was raised a Christian so the only thing that I can honestly say is that God was looking out for me and get me out of there before something more serious happened. Even so today I still work with my anger. Being seven months out of prison I still sometimes resort to that type of prison behavior to where when I feel I'm being attacked, I have to go on a defense and protect myself. People who stand firmly with prison reform, they can write the mayor and the governor and the, the secretary John Wetzel and things like that and let them know there need to be more structured programming, activities, more professionalism within the administration. People should be coming home just filled with anger and rage. People should be coming home ready to face society with vocational skills, anger management, therapy, whatever the tools that they need to come home and be model citizens, they should need this. And I truly believe that society has the strength to urge the government, people of the government, to make this happen instead of just making prison a punishment camp.